All right, in this video, we're gonna be starting something new. This is the very first video of my beginner to advanced Roblox scripting series. So what this series is gonna consist of is a video for each individual topic of everything you need to know about Roblox scripting. It's gonna take you from knowing absolutely nothing to everything you could possibly need to know about Roblox scripting to, uh, to make an entire game. So in this video, we're going to be covering how to download Roblox Studio, how to install it, and how to make your first game. So the first thing we're going to be doing is going over to roblox.com, and then we're going to head over to the Create tab. Now, if you've never been here before, you're going to see something like this. It's essentially just a welcome page that Roblox has made, and click Start Creating. Uh, for you, this so you're going to need to wait until this comes up. Just hit Download Studio and it'll bring up your download folders, where to save it. So just choose your downloads and click save. Right, so now this is finished downloading, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on it and we're gonna wait for Roblox Studio to install. And there we go, right, Roblox Studio has finished downloading. So you probably won't see something like this. I've got all of my most recent games here, which I'm probably gonna to have to blur actually because I don't want you to see all of these. But you'll probably have a very empty page compared to this. But that doesn't matter because this is this is a learning this is a learning experience right so the first thing you need to do whenever you're making a game is this button up here this button you gotta click that it's to take you into a new realm of possibilities right this is a base plate uh, you're gonna see a lot of these in your time this is essentially the most basic form of game roblox is ever gonna uh, throw at you right this is what pretty much all games start as assuming that you know using not terrain or anything um and yeah you're gonna you're gonna need to get used to this because you're gonna be seeing a lot of this for the next few videos as you can see very clearly i am flying about the place how am i doing that well just like any other game that you might be uh you know playing making you're gonna use w a s and d help you fly around he's gonna make you go up q is gonna make you go down and then you can hold the right click button of your mouse to have a look around yeah, that's pretty much all the key bands you're going to need to know for at least a, at least a good while, other than obviously having to click on things with the left button. Next, we're going to have a look at these windows here. Now, you probably won't have these open, especially when you're starting. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to this, uh, this view tab up here, and you're going to choose which ones you'd like. So I always have the Explorer, Properties, and Outputs open. So just to open you just click on them if they're not already uh, selected but if they are you can just leave them as is and then if you don't like where they are you can drag and drop them to wherever you like but i'm just gonna leave mine as is right so now we're in studio we're gonna have a li little look around and see what what everything does right so we're gonna start on this explorer window here this is where you see everything in your game right we've got the workspace players lighting material service etc workspace everything in here everything in this little window here that's everything in your game that the player can interact with can see anything like that so as you can see very clearly here there's a spawn location that is this little thing here so you can see it corresponds to where it is i'm not going to get into what these things are just yet but just know you are going to find out don't you worry Right, next we're gonna have a look at this properties window here. I've clicked on the spawn location, you can click on any part in the workspace and you'll get some properties. So this is exactly what it says on the tin, actually. It just is all the properties about a part. So you've got color, cast shadow, name of the thing, size, position, so where it is, whether it can collide, or whether it's anchored or not, and loads of other different properties. Now this might seem a little bit overcomplicated right now, but if you think about it, we can compare it to something in real life. So if you had a brick in real life, the properties of that would be it's heavy, it's red, uh, and it's dense, right? That's It's very similar in Roblox. You've got everything you could possibly want in here. Right, that's just that's like an overall little view there. Output. This one's going to come in useful, right? The output, this is where all the uh, output of your scripts will end up. So I'll give you a little example. I'll just chuck a script in service, script service, and it'll come up with this. And when I run the game, you will see, if I scroll past all my uh, plugins here, it's outputting hello world. This is where all of your prints, all of your errors, all of your warnings, everything is going to end up. And you're going to be seeing a lot of that. 
Right, now we've got all the little windows and stuff sorted, we're going to move on to actual things in your game. Right, the first thing we're going to need, and the only thing I'm going to cover in this video, is a part. You can click up here to insert a part, and you can press F to take you to it. This is what all Roblox games are made out of, parts. There's hundreds of thousands in some games, right? They're yeah, very, very important. Now, what can you do with this little part? Well, there's plenty of things you can do, but only four things that we are going to do today. Right, we've got select, move, scale, and rotate. And you can select these by pressing one, two, three, and four on the keyboard. So I'm gonna start by moving. You can use these arrows here to take it about the map. Scale, press three. You can scale it on the Y, scale it on the X, scale it on the Z. Hold control, you can scale it both sides on the Z axis, both sides on the X axis, and both sides on the Y axis. If you want to scale the whole part at once, hold Alt and make it bigger. And finally, we're going to press 4 to rotate. Right, so this red one is going to rotate it on the X axis. This blue one is going to rotate it on the Z axis. And this green one is going to rotate it on the Y axis. Now, if you don't know what the axes are, they're a bit different in Roblox to some other game engines. X is left and right. Y is up and down, and Z is forwards and backwards. So that is everything you need to know today about parts, right? Everything you need to know. You've got your properties, you've got your movement, you've got your scaling, you've got your rotation, and you've got your spawning of the parts. Um, yeah, that should be about it for everything you need to know so far. Right, I think I'm going to give it a rest there with the new information, and I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to be covering something even more interesting. Uh, we're going to be starting scripting. So I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Goodbye.